is available. Jada Boyd is out. They also have Jessica Timmons unavailable tonight. So the challenge ever steeper for Coach Moore and the Wolfpack. Well, it's about getting in rhythm, and it's about taking care of the ball, making shots, and playing hard. This is a sold-out crowd. Every game they play at home is sold out for the rest of the season, and I think that's the level of intensity that they expect out of their home group, out of this group. We tip it up from Reynolds Coliseum, and the Miami Hurricanes will start off with the basketball. Miami unbeaten so far in 2023. That includes a couple of wins against ranked teams. They go right to the basket, but it is blocked. That was Julia Williams whose shot was blocked. Miami will give you multiple looks defensively. They like to play a lot of switching man-to-man -man defense, but they also have multiple zones and full court pressure that they like to play. Ten on the shot clock. Javi, that turnaround so pretty. And based on the body language and the effort and the focus that we saw in practice today, NC State should be ready to play at home. See the starting five for the Hurricanes, same as they used in the last game. Jasmine Roberts been playing really well, keeping her spot in the lineup, and a strong move by Pendande. And Pendande is not the player you're going to start at the top of the scouting report for Miami with, but boy, she is effective in scoring in a one-on-one. -on -one. Good hands by Hayes there, keeping the ball away from our official. Karen Priato had to duck to stay out of the path of that one. Mimi Collins in the starting lineup in place of Boyd. Probably not the best shot selection early in the shot clock for Mimi, who has only made five threes out of 22 attempts on the season. Here is Cavender. Pulls up. Kia Brown Turner led the Wolf Pack in their last game, a loss on the road at North Carolina. And you know, Miami is going to speed you up. It's going to be up to the maturity of NC State not to quick shoot it because that's exactly what Miami wants them to do. And Dande going to work again and is fouled by Hobby. Is she missed four games earlier in the season, had come back, but clearly Debbie was not at 100%. I think you could see in the North Carolina game when they came out of the locker room in the second half, she just didn't have the same lift. And it, she's in the training room four or five hours a day trying to get ready. Wolfpack running down the floor, and Hayes had the breakout, but not the bucket. Harden looking inside. Williams gets to her right. That's good. According to Synergy in their transition defense. Look at Harden right there. Diamond sloppy with the ball. Harden with a great pick. Miami trying to finish it off. Off the steal and they do. Roberts with the basket and the foul. Jasmine Roberts at the free throw line. That is an 8-0 Miami run. Isaiah James in the game as well. well. NC State's margin for error is so small right now, not just because they only have eight players, but because they have no confidence. They make plays like that. They take it back. You gotta pass it. River Baldwin could never dribble. And that's, that's the key to the game. You gotta handle the pressure. Miami's gonna bring two to the ball. You gotta move it, and you gotta make shots. 10 second call for the turnovers was the call on the floor, just to clarify. 8-2 Miami lead, Harden. Bailey Cavender, she and her twin sister Hannah transferring from Fresno State, joining Miami this year. Boy, she's been good. Last year, Miami having that historic run to their first ever ACC final, and the Wolfpack winning their third straight ACC tournament title. Here's the 1-3-1. One, one. They like to trap out of this. NC State gets three sides. And then they get a great look from James, who's capable of making that shot. Got to get back, though, as Roberts and the Hurricanes were ready to go. That shot was affected. It's out of bounds. Wolfpack ball. A lot. That almost got picked off by Cavender. 
Williams, full speed ahead for the Hurricanes, but they turn it over. Sonia Rivers getting to the rim. This is the kind of game we expected it to be. Joe Roberts. This is Hannah Cavender, twin sister of Haley, who comes off the bench. Carla Ariavets also out on the floor. With four guards and Oldacre in the middle to counter the size of NC State. So NC State's got three players on the floor that are taller than everyone but one Miami player. Pick Rivers, chance to tie. You betcha. Ten to shoot for Area Vets. Jakia Brown Turner, the ball in her hands now for NC State. Baldwin going to work with the left. Good spacing, nice repost, good finish with the left. Harry Vets looking inside for Harden. No points in the game yet until that basket for Harden. Collins desperately calling for it on the inside. She gets it, has the shorter Harden on her. That'll work. Good energy to this game for both teams so far. I mean, this is going to be a well-played game all the way for four quarters. Both of these teams so prepared. Area Vets, nowhere to go. Tried to hand it off. Stead turns it over, and Collins decides she's going to wait for some help. That's a good decision. Diamond Johnson on the bench at the moment. Rivers with the ball in her hands. Takes it, makes it. 14-2, NC State run. Wolf pack up four. Harden with seven to shoot, takes the three. Neither team has yet to make a three-pointer in this game. Baldwin. She's got four. Hannah Cavender takes the three. Still a lid on the rim from distance, but Harden no problems. Yeah, Destiny Harden's taking the last four Destiny shots because she Harden. loves that matchup on Mimi Collins. Destiny watches a lot of film. Good look, and Baldwin capitalizes. Last shot up the first quarter, and what a quarter it was. Great start to this. And typically it's Miami that's been able to really rely upon their bench. Their bench scores more than any other in the ACC. They average almost 32 points per game. Hannah Cavender. Now over to Oldacre using her left. Tough shot defended by Baldwin. How about the toughness of River Baldwin right there? Old Acre did the right thing. I mean, Baldwin's sinking in the paint. you got to look to make somebody guard you. Otherwise, River Baldwin's just going to camp in the middle of the paint and clog things up for Miami. Johnson back in the game. Gets the ball back for the three. That's the first of the game for either team. What do you need to see from Miami, meanwhile, Debbie? They've gone a bit cold on this offensive end, other than Destiny Hart in the last few. Shot clock going down here. We'll need to take a shot. Lachade's wire. Offensive foul. Yeah, she's gotten off to a good start. She averages 6.4 and already has six tonight. Yeah, this is part of the versatility of Miami. They come out of the break with the 1-3-1, and Spearman on the top of that 1-3-1 is a lot of length. Hayes around it in. And one way to beat it is to get the ball to the corners. Dwyer. This is Lazaria Spearman. Pendande back as well. Three to shoot. She is fouled. 
Diamond Johnson picking up her second personal, putting Pendande on the line. And we've got a great night of basketball for you. Fantastic game coming your way. 8 p.m. tip next here on ACCN. Duke and North Carolina, both number one and number two in turnover margin. So whoever takes care of the basketball and moves it, I think assisted baskets is the number I'm looking for besides taking care of it, not turning it over. Blue Devils atop the ACC, only team in the league without a loss in conference play. Rivers. Little out of control, and Sanaya Rivers jumped right into the passing lane to take it back and set up James. This is an inspired NC State team that we're seeing tonight. Baldwin looking for another charge. Second personal on Rivers as Pendande back on the line. Gets her own rebound and gives Miami a chance to recycle some offense. Both Cavenders on the floor now, Haley and Hannah. Haley with the basketball. Four to shoot. Williams stuck in the corner, may not know. NC State ball anyway. Baldwin back in her way in. That's what you call pull the chair out from underneath. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what Pendande did. Reynolds Coliseum applauding River Baldwin as she heads off, but I think also probably sending some hopes and prayers out there that she will be okay. Not only has she gotten off to a great start. Look at the speed of Williams, the other end. <laughs> Miami shooting just 32% for the game. Seven for 22. Ten for Javi who had the first point of the game. Hard earned, two more right there. One of the all-time greats in the history of NC State basketball. And look what she's able to do because she stayed, she worked, and she waited. Smith Center, North Carolina, and NC State, another Tobacco Road rivalry matchup. Should be a great afternoon of hoops on Saturday here on ACCN and the ESPN app. Kevin Keats and NC State, winners of four in a row, going into Chapel Hill at the right time for them. <laughs> Pendande goes to her left. Rivers. Yeah. Well, you get to the logo area. They've had some big wins at home, Miami, against North Carolina, against Virginia Tech. Getting a big challenge on the road here tonight in Raleigh. Haley Cavender, they need her to get going. Spearman. Shot clock is off. Wolfpack can take all the time they want here. Look for the final shot. Here comes that flat ball screen. Look at Miami pinching. It's going to be Brown Turner, and it is blocked. Not the way NC State wanted to end the half, but a pretty good start to this one for the Wolfpack. And Miami typically, as I mentioned earlier, able to rely upon their bench. It's not been the story tonight, as you can see. No points off the bench for the Hurricanes, who really went cold. The second quarter in particular, just five points season low. Well, that helps as a way to start things off. Jasmine Roberts with the first three of the game for Miami. Well, the way Miami presses and the multiple looks that they bring, it can be a problem. That's a great find over the top. And those are the first points for Jakia Brown-Turner. I definitely think NC State's length bothered her some. Good look to Pendande.
Diamond Johnson. Brown Turner, Hobby, Collins, James, the five on the floor. And Collins gets the put back and is fouled. Makes good decisions with the ball. NC State can be a lot better. Williams saw Kavanagh in the corner. One dribble to get herself open. Four points in the game for Kavanagh. She averages almost 15 and a half on this five-game winning streak for the Hurricanes. Now Miami trying to use that defense, turn it to offense. Harden does. A couple of efforts by his team. Brown Turner used that shot fake to her advantage. Maybe that will get her going. Yeah, she had 14 points in that loss to the Tar Heels, which in over 100 games in her career, that had never happened before. Now in two of the last three, she's gone scoreless. This is where NC State's got to be careful. they got to continue to run their stuff. But Net Crew will break down the night in the ACC with highlights and analysis of every women's game. Williams, so quick. Nia Rivers talked about what a great first half she had. That one just batted away. Somehow, some way, the Hurricanes managed to keep this, and then smartly they throw it into the 6'4 freshman Spearman. They've cut it to 12. Johnson, what a move! Travel. Cavender over the front of the rim is good. He really had the feeling that NC State had done a lot to right the ship in that first half, and Wolfpack fans hoping to see this team continue that in the second half. Madison Hayes fired up after that one. And one when we come back. I mean, that first one doesn't count. NC State's body language, their attitude today in practice, I thought was much better. You could just sense that this team was ready to shake out of that funk that they've been in. Oh, good seal. Good look and good finish on the inside by the freshman. Williams, not a three-point shooter for Miami. Search off at 3.30 and then North Carolina, NC State after that one. Always a good place to catch your hoops here on ACCN. Hannah Cavender. She didn't get that open of a look very often. But when you put in the amount of time that Haley Cavender has put in, you're going to keep shooting because the Cavender twins are in the gym all the time. Hey, to shoot, they can play some defense too. This is Hannah looking for her sister, who's her elder by two minutes. Pendande defended by Collins. Pendande in her second year with the Hurricanes after transferring from Utah. And Haley, the Mountain West player of the year a couple of years ago. And 12 the lead for NC State. I like getting Diamond off the top of the floor some. Bring her to the wing. Let her come back to the top. ACC competitive environments. Like this one. She sets the screen here for Cavender inside. Pendande unselfish play, and it pays off. James, and there is a foul. She's... You have not been able to crack trailing by double digits. Long-armed anticipation, and it's even better. Cavender three to shoot. Taken away, there she goes again. Rivers gets herself two points, well earned. Cavender 
Open look, knocks it down. NC State just gonna let the clock run out. Well, Miami made a push, but NC State pushed right back. Pendande, part of that international flair, hailing from Almeria, Spain, and you see several of the countries represented on this Miami roster. You notice, by the way, she had the mask off for a second. It is back now. Katie Meyer telling us before, she tried to take it off before, and she said, I think you need to keep that on. 14 points in the game for Pendande, who wants some more. Anna Cavender. Nice. To Pendande. Again, playing through the elbows. What did Katie Meyer tell us? Pendande through the elbows to the elbows when our offense is running through that spot on the floor. Sanaya Rivers in double digits. She's got 10 for the Wolf Pack, just being pushed further and further away. Well, the other thing Katie Meyer told us is fourth quarter defense by Pendande. Right now she has one foul. She can stay really aggressive here in the fourth quarter. She's really good at her ball screen D. Cavender all the way to the basket. You gotta move, you gotta move the ball. Sluggish start to this fourth quarter for NC State. A lot of energy for the Hurricanes as they try to mount the comeback. Cavender nails it. They run their pistol action in transition, which they love. NC State knows they're going to run pistol in transition, and Cavender finally shakes free. Wolfpack with the ball out of the timeout. James looking inside to Hobby, and those are the first points of the fourth quarter for NC State. Probably the one player who didn't want to see a timeout was Haley Cavender, but Hannah Cavender picking up where her sister left off. I mean, the Cavender twins. Hobby, gonna have to play some big minutes, back to back buckets. Good recognition, Miami switching. Camille Hobby getting the matchup inside. Harden put it right in the hands of Rivers. I mean, what a gift. And all the games going on right now across the ACC tight. Florida State playing at Virginia. Harden, round and out. A really good execution. Very well prepared, ready to win. There's a great backdoor look. I told you earlier, you got to get something backdoor against Miami, picking up the press. <laughs> NC State withstood the storm. Miami really was on a push to start this fourth quarter, scored the first seven points, made it a seven-point game. Cavender started to find her game. She's got 12. Now there's some confusion, though, and NC State just throws it away. Anna Cavender, Pendande, the go-to, gets it. NC State needs to move the ball. So there's one turnover. Harden looking up the floor, has both Cavenders there. Hannah takes it, is foul. Let's see, that's the angle the official had, was the body right there. Hits them both. They gotta cut hard, they gotta be strong with the ball. And here's where Miami could be in trouble. Numbers advantage for NC State. Throw it over the top. That's a big bucket right there for NC State. Hannah Cavender. Haley, balancing act to keep it in, but turns it over. Now, now Miami needs to foul. Hurricanes have committed just two fouls in the quarter. NC State keeping the floor spread, moving the ball. Miami elects not to foul. Collins, nothing but net. Got to go quick here if you're Miami. Timeout, Katie Meyer and Miami. 
Well, also playing Miami gives them great prep for playing Louisville, the preseason pick for ACC, regular season champions. All the games this tonight in, in the ACC are all close so far. Cavender. Pendande on the glass is good. So that is career high time 21 for Pendande. Hurricanes will head back home next. Hurricanes still the foul to give. Now Miami will face guard. See if they can get a five second count. Westmore calling timeout. We're able to throw over the top of Miami's defense multiple times tonight for buckets. That could be the difference in the game. Well, you gotta hope to extend the game if you're Katie Meyer, and that's what you're hoping Diamond Johnson will miss. It's just her 15th attempt on the year. Makes them both. Is Miami having to think three here? They just gotta score quickly. Well, now they need a three, because they've waited. Cavender takes the screen, but doesn't take the shot. Pendande. And time running out on Miami now. She had the ball, bounces out of bounds. NC State, ball, and that should be ball game for the Wolfpack. Got the fight till the very end from Katie Myers' team, but NC State, Debbie, finding a way to hang on, snap that losing streak, and even themselves up at four and four in conference play. It's an incredible bounce back win for Westmore, protecting the home court in this league, which is so important. And I think Miami showed everyone what, what we already knew coming in here on a five-game win.